Alright guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about feeling good. Hi guys, if you guys don't know me by now, my name is Richard Skeleter, and I'm going to talk about ways to feel good. So, the reason why feeling good is important is because it's going to help you in transforming your life. It's going to help you in being a better person. It's going to help you in not reacting to people. It's going to help you to be more considerate of others, more considerate of yourself. And most of all, it's going to teach you how to love. So in my life, I've noticed by practicing feeling good on a regular basis, doing any technique to feel good, it has helped me to uh, not react to people in a certain way. It's helped me in traffic, to traffic to go smoother and not be so, so rough or rambunctious. It's helped me have easier days where I used to get stressed out and I'm not stressed no more. Um, it's helped me uh, have clearer thoughts or better intuitions when I'm in a higher state of feeling good or you would call it appreciation. Um, what else has it really helped me with? Well, I think it's just helped me with all areas of my life. Um, it makes just my, my day or my life go smoother. So you basically want to feel good for all those reasons. So I would take it upon anybody to try feeling good uh, for no particular reason, but just to try it. So uh, I've laid out some techniques before about feeling good, about uh, a writing technique, about writing um, after like an affirmation, uh, like some stuff that you appreciate, some stuff that you love, that you have no resistance about. That would be like a really good technique to try, like um, like one, two, or three things that uh, make you feel good, write about it, ponder about it. Uh, another technique I gave people was, I feel great, 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 I feel great. Like you can see it's making me happier. That's another one. Uh, some people uh, do meditation to feel good. Uh, some other people do like EFT or tapping where they tap on certain meridian points. You can look it up yourself and go, and go I'm, I'm releasing this, I'm letting this go, I'm releasing this, I'm letting this go. Uh, there's certain meridian points, it's called EFT. So there's many techniques to feel good that people have, have tried and used. Um, I would say that like sometimes going for a walk could help, exercise could help. I haven't really seen too much about that uh, in my life um, with exercise. I would say when I lift weights, it helps me more to feel good than running or, or doing cardiovascular work for, for me personally. So. Also, um, let, let, let me think of some other, uh, other ways people uh, try to feel good. So, yeah, I think lifting weights has helped me the most. Running a little bit. I've run like two, three miles. I really don't, I don't, get, I don't get that runner's high that some people get. They get into the zone. But lifting weights has really helped, I think, with my um, endorphins and my mood. That, that has helped me a lot. Um, you just gotta see what works for you. So basically, it's to find techniques that work for you to get to that high state of feeling good and to keep practicing it. So I wanna hear in the comments below of anybody, of what techniques have worked for them, what um, protocols or techniques when you're starting your day, when you get stressed, how to overcome that stress and to get back to that state of feeling good. So stuff like that. So if you can comment in below of some techniques that have worked for you, I'm trying to share some with you guys today. So if you could share some with me, that would be wonderful. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care. Bye.